What's going on YouTube? So, very excited about today's video, purely for the fact that I wish there was something out there like this when I very first started training. I'm basically going to talk you through how to work out how many calories you need specific to your health and fitness goals. Now, if you haven't already guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel because my next video is going to be how to work out your macronutrients. This is going to ensure that you're not only consuming the right amount of calories, but you're also getting the right amount of proteins, fats and carbohydrates into your body in order to fuel your workouts, maximise fat loss and essentially help to achieve that shaped, toned and lean body. Now, before we get started guys, it's important to understand that there is a significant difference between weight loss and fat loss and vice versa, weight gain and lean muscle gain. In an ideal world, we want to promote fat loss and lean muscle maintenance or lean muscle growth. Again, to just achieve that shaped, toned and lean body. First things first then guys, we need to understand what your specific goal is. Are you looking to lose weight in the form of body fat? Are you looking to gain weight? put on lean muscle, are you simply looking to maintain your weight or are you looking to eat to fuel your performance? You need to ask yourself that question because the amount of calories you require are going to be specific to your goal. The next thing then guys is what is a calorie? It's all good me sitting here and saying you need to do this, this, this or you need to eat that because it's healthy but if you don't understand why then you're, you're not going to be able to maintain that and implement that into your life going forth. So what is a calorie? A calorie is simply a unit of energy and we get this energy by consuming food and this energy can either be used or stored. So what do I mean by the term used? Now the energy we obtain from food can be used for a number of factors. For example, NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis. As the name suggests then guys, NEAT refers to any activity that is not exercise specific. For example, chewing gum, perhaps taking the stairs rather than the lift, or carrying the shopping bags to the car. These are all activities that require energy, but you're not necessarily doing them as an exercise. We also need energy to fuel our exercise performance. If we have more readily available energy when we're exercising, then our performance should be enhanced. This energy can also be used to aid growth, repair, and bodily functions such as building lean muscle, your hair, skin and nail growth or even just breathing. Now there are some examples of how energy that we obtain from food can be used but I also mentioned energy can be stored. Any excess energy that we obtain from food can be converted and stored as fat to be used as energy later on. This is something we want to try and avoid and is known as a calorie surplus. Chili, baby, bat, bat. Note that there is practically no limit to how many calories the body can store as fat. However, if we are looking to gain weight and we want to gain lean quality muscle, then a calorie surplus is required. And again, when I go into the next video about macronutrients, that will all make a little more sense. Okay guys, now that we understand what a calorie is, you now need to grab a pen and paper and I'm gonna give you the calculations and go through them with you so you know how many calories you need to consume specific to your health and fitness goal. We first need to calculate your BMR, basal metabolic rate. Basal metabolic rate. Your BMR then guys, is an estimate of the number of calories you'd burn if you were to do nothing but rest for a 24 hour period. It represents the minimum amount of energy required to keep your body functioning, such as breathing and keeping your heart beating. So in order to calculate your BMR guys, we are gonna use the Harris-Benedict equation, which is specific to your gender, age, height and weight. Okay, ladies, you need to complete the following equation. And gents, you need to complete this equation. Now that you have your total calories needed to support your BMR, we now need to calculate our TDEE, total daily energy expenditure. Total daily energy expenditure. Okay guys, so you now need to determine which of the following activity factors best describes you. 
All we need to do then, guys, is read the description, choose which exercise and activity level best describes you, see the number. So, for example, moderately active, which would refer to myself, is 1.55, times your BMR by 1.55, and that's going to give you your TDEE, your total daily energy expenditure. Your final TDEE then, guys, is the approximate number of calories you require based on your daily activity level to maintain your weight. Now guys, I'm gonna talk you through exactly what works for me and what I use with all my clients who have all achieved incredible body transformations. This is gonna be based over an eight week period. You can go up to 12 weeks, depending on where you get to after your eight, but let's say an eight week period. Now weeks one to two, I will tend to stick to my maintenance calories. And then all I'm gonna do is try and increase my activity level by doing some cardio. So weeks one to two guys, like I said, I maintain my calories and I just increase my activity level from adding in some extra cardio that I wouldn't usually do. In weeks three to four then, I would start to experiment with a calorie deficit from food. And I would start with 10%. So maybe week three, you're gonna um, deduct 10% worth of calories off of that total and assess yourself at the end of the week. How are your energy levels? What do you look like in the mirror? What is your weight saying? If your weight's just come down nice and steadily, you have taken progress pictures, which I always recommend. So progress pictures, start of the week, end of the week, and you look visibly leaner, stick to the 10%. If you come to a plateau, then you can go up to 15% and then into 20%. But I would certainly say, for weeks three to four, and in order to maintain, hold on to as much lean muscle as possible, which is simply gonna make you more effective as a fat burning machine, then yeah, do small um, calorie deficit increments, okay? So you're gonna slowly bring those calories down over the eight week period. Now the same goes for weight gain, except for we're not gonna be in a calorie deficit, we want to achieve a calorie surplus. And I like to just go, 5%, 10%, up to 15% increase in calories. I don't wanna to add too much excess fat. And again, this all really comes down to your macronutrient breakdown, which will be covered in the next video. But you do need to be in a calorie surplus. So you need to have more calories coming in to your body than what you're actually burning. And it really is simple science, guys. Calories in versus calories out. If you're looking to lose weight, you need to have more calories being burnt than being consumed. Maintain weight, they simply need to equal each other out. And then to gain weight, you simply need to be in a calorie surplus. Have more calories coming in than you are burning as energy. I really hope you found this uh, video useful, guys. Again, always appreciate a thumbs up. It just lets me know that you are enjoying the videos. Please do comment below if you have any questions at all or you're unsure about anything, and I will try and come back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because my macronutrient video is gonna be coming up very soon. As always, guys, keep it real, and I'll catch you next time around.